Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So you all maybe sometimes uh, come up with the situation where you need to keep a track of your task or a project to know that whether it is completed on a time or not and whether it is completed on time with an efficient manner. So in all such cases you need to calculate the due date. So in this video we are going to learn how to create a due date formula in Salesforce and we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as the classic experience. So let's proceed and firstly understand by what does we mean by the due date formula. So in Salesforce to create a due date formula the Salesforce have several built in function and with the help of that function we create our formula to calculate the due date. Most of the cases that we came up in a sales force is that we need to calculate a due date based on uh, some number of days and uh, maybe we need to calculate the due date based upon the specific days of the month. So we will going to see the example for both the cases in Salesforce Life and a classic. So let's proceed and learn with the help of an example how to create a formula in Salesforce Lightning to calculate the due date. So here I open up my Salesforce account and by default I am on my Lightning experience. If you are not, you can shift to the Lightning first. The next thing is that you have to check that you are on the main home page that is visible on your screen or you are on the uh, default home page where we land. Okay. So I am on my main setup home page. So I don't need to shift to it. If you are not, you can um, change to this page by clicking on the gear icon and the setup menu. Then you have to click on the object manager that is given on the top navigation bar. And after that, you have to here in a quick find box search for the object on which you want to create up the formula for the due date calculation. So in this case, I am going to show you the example for the product one. So I search for the product and click on it. After that, I move to the fields and relationship option on a left side and then I click on the new button that is located on the right top side. Next, I have to choose up the data type uh, from the various data type according to my requirement. So as I am going to create up the formula, I choose the formula one by clicking on the radio button in front of it and click on the next button and move ahead. Then we have to enter up the field label for giving the name to the field. So here I enter the field label as a payment due date. When I click on the field name, it automatically populated based on the field label. Next, we have to choose up the formula return type. As we want to get up the due date, so it very common to know that we need a return type as a date. So I click on this radio button next to the date and click on the next button to move to the next step. Now it's moved to the enter formula sub tab. Here we have to enter the formula. So here to enter up the formula, I click on the insert field. As I decided to create up the formula that calculated the payment due based on the payment plus five days. So here on the fields, I search for the payment date, click on it and then click on the insert button. After that, I click on this insert operator. From here, I choose the add one and then I enter the 5. So here I am ready with my formula. Basically in this formula I am adding the 5 days to the due date or a date value stored in the field called the payment due date. It helps me to calculate the due date by adding a number of days to an existing payment date. So in my case it is a 5 days. Okay next to check that whether it is correct or not I click on this check syntax button. So if it has some error it gives me and otherwise it shows me that no syntax error in the merge fields and a function. Next, you can also give up the description and help text if you want. And if you also want to handle the blank fields, you can handle it. But this work in the case of a number currency and the person field only. So next, I click on the next button and move to the next step. And here you have to choose up the profiles to whom you want to grant the edit access of this field. So basically, this is a field level security process. So some of the profiles are already selected, but I want to grant the access to each and every profile. So I click on this visible button to quickly set up for the all. And then I click on the next button and proceed to the next step. And after that, I click on the save button to successfully save up my formula. 
so here i am ready up with my formula now to check that whether it works or not i open up one more setup by clicking on this gear icon in the setup option and from here i move to the app launcher which is a nine dot grid or you can a grid uh, that is located on your left hand side on the top and when i click on it i search for the product object so as i have created my formula on the product so i click on it so you have a option to either create a new product or uh, edit some uh, already created one so i decided to edit the already created one i click on the drop down and click on the edit button and from here i choose up the payment date so let's take here i choose up the 2nd of october 2023 and when i click on the save button you can see that it moves to the detail section so when i click on the save button it save up the uh, product now i click on the product it moves to the detail section and here you can see that it automatically calculated the payment due date based on the formula that i have created to calculate the due date and it is calculated as a 7 of october 2023 because i have added the 5 days to the date uh, of the payment date so with this we have learned to create a formula that calculates the due date in salesforce lightning if you want to learn step by step or you miss any step you will get the link of the article in the description box now let's move to the salesforce classic and learn to calculate the formula due date so for this firstly i click on my profile icon and here i have a option of a switch to a salesforce classic so when i click on it i redirect to the classic interface of the salesforce next i have to click on the setup option that is located on the top after that i have to move to the build section that is located on the left side so this is the build section here i have a customized drop down i click on that and it shows me all the objects that are available in salesforce now it's time to decide the object to whom you want to uh, create the formula for the due date so this time i decided to work up with the campaign so i click on it so from this drop down i click on the fields option and when i click i redirect it to the fields page now i have to scroll down and move to the section of uh, camping custom fields and relationship and from here i click on the new button so when i click on the new button it ask me to choose up the field on which you want to work so here i am going to create a formula so i select the formula by clicking on the radio button and then i click on the next button and move to the next step now we have to enter the field label so here to enter the field label i decided to choose the camping due date as a field label name and when i click on the field name it automatically populated now this time we have to choose up the formula return type so as i want to get the result in the date type i choose the date and click the next button and now we have to create up the formula for calculating the due date and here i have a advanced formula editor and in this i have to enter up so let's give me time i add it and here i have enter up my formula so if you want to get this formula you can easily get it from our article that i have written by clicking on the article link that is given on the description box so now i will explain you this formula basically this formula calculate the campaign due date on the basis of the start date so if the day of the month is less than or equal to the 18 so here i have writing the first the formula returns the 18 of the same month and a year as a start date okay by using the date function year function and month function i do that thing if the day of the month is greater than the 18 the formula returns the first of the next month and year as the start date and then i add 7 to the above calculated date and uh, you can see on the uh, the above calculated resultant date and i get the final result of the due date to check that whether it is correct or not i click on the check syntax button and uh, it shows me that there is a no error so even you can if you want to add a description in help text you can add it i doesn't want so i directly click on the next button and proceed to the next step so now in the next step you have to choose up the field level security so here basically we have a different profiles that are available in salesforce and from all these profile we have to select the profile to whom you want to grant the added access of this field so i want to grant the added access of this field to all the profile i click on the visible check box and click on the next button and proceed to the next step and finally after creating up the formula i click on the save button to finally save all the changes 
Now to check that whether it is working or not, I click on the plus tab that is given on the top navigation. And I from this I click search for the campings. So here I search, I open up the campings. And from here I decided to open one camping. So I opened this one. And uh, uh, here I have uh, filled up a start date as a 4th of 4, 2023. And it automatically calculated the camping due date as a 25th of 4, 2023. So with this we have successfully learned up how to create a due date formula in Salesforce Classic as well. So if you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.